వెల్కమ్ టు ఇన్సైట్ బిల్డర్ ఛానల్ ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ ఎంతూసియాస్ట్స్ పైథాన్ ఎక్స్పర్ట్స్ అండ్ మై డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇంటగ్రేటింగ్ ఏఐ మోడల్స్ ఇన్ సైడ్ సినాప్స్ సర్వర్ లెట్స్ డైవ్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ అండ్ ఫోర్మోస్ట్ వై టు ఇంటగ్రేట్ ఏఐ ఇన్ టు మ్యాట్రిక్స్ సినాప్స్ సర్వర్ థింక్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ ఆల్రెడీ administrating a matrix home server you will have lots of users you might have lots of rooms in which lots of messages and various things are happening how can you integrate an artificial intelligence model like chat gpt or google spam into matrix synapse server access to a personal ai inside a room is phenomenal you can use the ai to process the room messages it's not straight forward because you need to sync the room messages alone and then you need to process it by sending the data to uh, the artificial intelligence models but it is possible you can do it piece wise also i'll be showing one of the uh, strategies that i used in the in this discussion you can create a rag on the that is uh, retrieval augmented generation on the room messages that is also one of the ideas that you can do apart from this there are so many other things that you can think about when you are going to integrate the artificial intelligence models into a matrix synapse server if you guys are new to matrix synapse server and uh, also the home server concepts i would suggest you to take a look at this particular uh, playlist in my youtube channel all these videos have the code attached with it so once you review the video you will be able to look at the code also the same way in this video also i'll be sharing the code and uh, the respective github repo will be given to you so stay tuned and now let us think about how we can uh, integrate ai into matrix synapse server uh, you might actually come up with different ideas but what i felt is that the easiest and the straight forward way to implement the uh, the ai models into matrix synapse server would be using langchain the one of the most favorite favored library if you ask me in uh, the artificial intelligence arena and ecosystem right now and you can use the matrix neo framework for matrix uh, server integration moving forward let's first of all see what exactly happens uh, when we have a conversation uh, when we initiate a conversation with the ai enabled uh, ai enabled user in the matrix server so we are going to go to the matrix server and we are going to do everything from the command line so one of the things about uh, integrating uh, integrating artificial intelligence models it is best done through the command line because you are going to have complete control of it what i'm going to do right now is i am going to uh, create uh, i am going to invite the artificial intelligence enabled user to uh, this particular uh, users room so uh, there is a user called as kamal and uh, this user is going to invite the demo9 user which is having the artificial intelligence model attached to it so let us start i am going to this folder that you see here this particular folder will be shared with you guys from the github repo via the github repo so you don't need to worry about it the script that we will be using is listen and ai reply this is the script that we will be using before that we need to send an invite first of all and the invite has to be accepted so let us first send the invite to the uh, this uh, script has been already discussed in the earlier video that i had showed couple of minutes back if you uh, if you want you can take a look at the earlier video also the earlier video that i'm talking about is this one so demystifying synapse form server automation here i discuss in detail about invite sender script you can take a look at that i'm going to execute this script right now and it is going to log in as it is going to ask me the user that i want to use i am going to say kamal and now this will invite the demo9 user which is let me zoom in a bit demo9 user which is having the callback implemented at the back end so i'll be telling you how to do that in a couple of minutes so this uh, invite has been sent next what i am going to do is i am going to call the invite acceptor so invite has been sent now the invite acceptor script is already coded with demo9 Uh, user and username and password so once i execute this the demo9 user will automatically accept the invite that has been sent by 
uh, this uh, Kamal user. Just now the invite had been sent. This has been accepted. So if you go back to the user interface, you will see that there is a new room right now. So if you click on new room, this particular date and time, you see this is the time that I am uh, making this video. You can see that here. Close this. This is not required. Now let us go back. So I have invited the uh, the demo nine, the user which has the artificial intelligence model backed into it. And next, what I need to do is uh, the invite has been accepted by the user also, the demo nine user. Next, start the actual callback process by the demo nine user. So for that, I need to run the listen and AI reply dot Python script. So I'm going to execute this. Now, what this is going to do is it will start syncing with the home server that is the home server that i'm working upon after logging in as demo 9 you can see that this is logging in as demo 9 and immediately you'll see that uh, already the existing chats that has been initiated is getting responded now uh, let me let me zoom in a bit so already you see that a couple of replies are coming out because i have been testing it with various other uh, uh, users also so you see that uh, all the questions that i've asked till now it is coming up right now let me go to the this user room so this is the new room that i had created where the demo 9 had joined here i am going to ask this is my first message could you write me a haiku on new year celebration so this is a very uh, simple request that I'm sending to this particular room. And the moment I send this, and if I go back here, you'll see that uh, the user is getting the detail, first of all. So here you can see that New Year celebration for uh, you. So here is it is the haiku. So after you send the message, the message is processed by the, uh, by the backend artificial intelligence model, and then the output is actually updated here in the front end in the uh, look in the room where demo 9 was invited it's not just that it will be only working in one room the you can invite this particular uh, uh, demo 9 user into any number of rooms so let me show you so i am going to call demo 8 right now so this user is going to invite the demo 9 and after that i am going to run the invite acceptor script so let me uh, let me do a clear screen and let me run invite acceptor script once i run this invite acceptor script the invite that is pending uh, by for demo 9 will get executed so you see that demo 8 invite has been accepted and if you go to the uh, if you go to the demo 8 uh, user you will see that there is a new room that has been created again so this is the new room that got created the same process we can follow so if i send this is message from demo 8 kindly tell me the formula for uh, mass conservation so this is some gibberish that i am asking uh, some scientific gibberish that i wanted to understand from the uh, large language model the moment i send this you will see that you will get the reply from demo 9 and demo 9 user is not real so i will be explaining you the code behind it you can go here and you will see the demo 9 is listening here the uh, the formula for mass conservation is based on the principle so you see the reply has been given by the uh, backend uh, uh, script only now let us go back to the uh, discussion so you are seeing the a interaction demo but how this actually works so I'm going to walk you through the scripts that I used. Let me go back here. So I use the invite sender script. I use the invite acceptor script and I mainly used the listen and AI reply dot pi. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you the script right now. And you'll be wondering that it will have a lot of lines, but this is, this is all the scripts. Is. So I am doing a couple of imports here. So all this main uh, functions and the callbacks, the classes are all inside this particular single line. I'll be showing you this automator helper in a couple of minutes, but this is the function or this is the script that starts the entire process. 
you can see that i'm using the demo 9 as the uh, user here and uh, the password also is provided here i'll be changing this this user will be deactivated so you don't need to worry about it and this step where i am adding the event callback and ai message callback this is this is the method which does all the heavy lifting after that this particular uh, script will be running forever if you look at this this script keeps on running and if you go back and if i if i send one more message here inside the kamal uh, i need a list of items to go shopping and this is still listening so uh, the listening does not stop what i'm going to do next is you can see that it, it actually processes it and uh, this is keep on listening so it will not stop until unless i do a control c and keep, uh, do the interrupt on this particular script next what you are going to do is i'm going to show you the uh, the script that the automation helper that i was talking about i'll be showing you this script and mainly the method that does the heavy lifting so this automation helper will be shared with you guys in the github repo so you don't need to worry about it the most important point i wanted to highlight here is that there is a class called as callbacks inside the autom automation helper and inside that class there is a method ai message callback this ai message callback is going to process the message that is received by the demo 9 user keep one thing in mind the a message callback will only listen for the room message text it will not listen for any other kind of events this is only possible because if you if i scroll up further you will see that this is this is the script name listen a and reply here i am using the callback and i am filtering only for room message text so this is how the event callback works uh, there are lots of events happening inside the matrix uh, synapse server and in among those events it will only filter the room message text and it will uh, call the callback so whenever a room message is created or sent the callback will be initiated by the script uh, the listen and uh, ai reply script will initiate it and then what will happen is the event will get delivered to this particular function callback and the room will also be available through the event itself when the callback is sent from there we can get the room id we can get the event body these are the two important things because once you get the event body then only you can send it to the api the open ai api i'll be explaining it to you in a couple of minutes you you will be sending it to sending the message to the open ai api and getting the completions after you get the completion you need to send the message somewhere right that is where the room id is required so these two things you will immediately collect next we are going to use the lang chain uh, prompt template so if you scroll up a bit you will see that i have imported all these uh, uh, classes all these classes have come from lang chain if you visit the lang chain uh, this particular uh, link in langchain uh, documentation you will see there is a llm chain that you can create the llm chain consists of prompt template it consists of a chat or a generative ai model class and it consists of a string output parser so these three things are required and i can use these three things and i can start a llm chain the way of uh, instantiating these objects i have not covered in this particular discussion because my intention here is primarily to tell how to integrate ai models with the matrix synapse server and how to use the matrix synapse server sdk i am not going deep into langchain but if you are interested you can always go back uh, to my uh, play, uh, my youtube channel and here you will find all the necessary details in this particular uh, playlist in this playlist or in this playlist you will have a lot of discussion here also in this playlist also so you can take a look at these things and you will get more idea here i have imported all this uh, classes and objects and then i am going to work on the method here the prompt template i have already uh, mentioned that you are a helpful and a pleasant assistant who can process any message by thinking step by step you are tasked to process the message so this message is the event dot body message that we deliver for that matter let us go to the user so this message i need a list of items to go shopping this message will be the event dot body the prompt template is done and this is the key point 
the messages are flowing continuously there will be the message from the demo 9 user there will be message from the demo 8 or kamal kamal user whoever is coming and joining that room so for that matter if you go to this particular uh, particular uh, room where already there is uh, uh, the demo 9 invited i am going to invite one more user so let me invite demo 8 right now so i am going to invite demo 8 into the room that has been created by kamal so i have invited demo 8 and i am going to go to demo 8 so if you go here there is an accept i am going to accept it now the demo 8 has joined the room where already there is demo 9 now i am going to now demo 8 is going to send the message inside this room where which was created by kamal so this message is from demo 8 and i am and include me in a small poem so demo 8 wants to be great so let us see how well the poem comes out okay so you see that it is coming in red and all the places you see there is demo 8 coming in and this particular room was created by the different user and the different user called kamal invited demo 8 and demo 9 responded to demo 8 also so what this means so you can invite any number of users to the room in which the a enabled uh, user is already available the main condition that we need to always look for is that the event sender should not be equal to the client user id so the message that is sent by the demo 9 should not be responded uh, by this callback because it will create a loop the way to stop the loop is by using this particular condition the event dot sender should not be equal to the client dot user id so once i once you give this particular uh, uh, if condition then you can go to the next step where the prompt template is created where the processor that is the llm chain that i was talking about is initiated here so here is where you have to provide the open ai key i have created a dot env file in my repo which you will not be able to see because that's get ignored and then i am going to invoke the processor on the received message so this received message is coming from here after that i am printing the room id and the chat gpt output so these are the two things that you see here so you see the room id and then the chat gpt output so this is what happening from this particular print statement and then i am going to await and send the text message so this send the text message is going to take the client which is already logged in i know the room id from here and then i am going to output this is the output that i have got from here so i am going to send this to the room id this is how the entire process has been done so by now that you have got an understanding how the interactive ai can be pulled into the uh, synapse server by using simple python scripts uh, once you start developing you will have to uh, incorporate security you will have to incorporate uh, uh, you know user interactivity and uh, you know good interface for providing the username and password etc so i believe that you uh, had uh, you had some good idea on how we can integrate the ai models using the open ai apis as well as langchain start practicing and looking at the code will not be sufficient you have to execute the code write the code and execute it in, in on your own home server and see how the output looks uh, i believe that you have learned a thing or two from this video do leave a like and leave a comment and for further updates do subscribe to my channel and uh, till the next video practice practice automate automate see you guys have a great time